Hello and welcome to Avamax Tying Tuesdays. Today we're going to show you how to tie the bead head cased caddis. Hook we're going to use today is a TMCO. This is the 3761. Great nymph hook. The bead we're going to throw on there is an awesome hairline modeled tactical tungsten bead. This is the black version. The body of our fly will be a little bit of peacock roll and with a little bit of brown hackle that we're going to trim down and then have a dubbing collar on it with some super fine and white as well as some ice dub peacock black. And then the thread that we're using today is a little bit of Vivis 12 watt and black. So we have our hook set in our vise there and I went ahead and put that bead on that model tac tactile bead which is an awesome bead from Hairline. We just got in a whole bunch of new Hairline tying materials, about 1100 new products added to the website. So if you haven't been on shopping through the materials recently, definitely do so. There's a lot of new great stuff on there. I'm going to head and just work right on back to where that hook bend starts. Right about to where the barb is. And then we're going to tie in our first material. That'll be this Keo Hackle in brown. And I went ahead and prepped the feather so that my stem is about the same length as our hook shank here. So that we can keep a nice even diameter to this pattern. We're just going to tie that in on the back with some locking wraps there and then work our thread up quickly just covering it up right on the side of the hook shank. And then once we get back to our tie-in point we can add our peacock curl. So I'm going to do three strands of peacock curl here. Just all tied in at the same time. I'm going to trim off just the tips to help try and make it a little bit more durable to work with. And I'm going to do the same thing, tie that in a little bit long so that it's about the same length as our hook shank here. And work on forward just securing that on down. And we can do some quick cleanup wraps on it as well before we begin to wrap all that material forward. So right up to where our thorax region is going to be, about a bead distance back. Do a couple of half hitches there and get this peacock curl ready to go. So with those three strands, I'm going to give them a good spin here turning it into a little a nice rope before I begin to wrap it forward. We're just going to do touching wraps as we go all the way up to where that thorax region is going to be. You can give it a few extra spins as you go, making sure that it's consistent. Straight on up here. And then we'll end where our half hitches are there with just a little bit of room to do some dubbing collar. I'll capture that with my thread. And then trim out our excess. From there we can bring the hackle on up. And we're just going to do open palmer wraps on this as we go. So you can see I trimmed off a little bit extra on that side so that when I wrap it over you don't get any of those barbels that are going to flare backwards or to the side and whatnot. You get that nice 90 degree flare. So I'm just going to wrap it five or six times over that peacock curl with open palmers to where we can capture it off. Just like so, and then trim out that excess material. Now from there we're going to go ahead and actually trim our hackle. Something that you don't hear people say very often. But we're going to trim it on down. So I'm going to trim it so that you still have some pieces kind of sticking out. Creating kind of some texture to this fly so that it looks like it's 
natural material that would be on the bottom of the river that a case caddis would use to help build its, its casing with. Just a little bit of trim work here. We use the bead kind of for positioning sometimes just to kind of hold myself steady. Helps keep it consistent too as you go around. You can also kind of create a slight taper to this pattern, trim the back side a little bit shorter than what the front side's gonna be. Well, looks pretty good. So from there, we can find the point where we want to be where our thorax is going to be, which is really kind of what could potentially be the peaking aspect of the caddis, the uh, actual larva sticking out of that material. We'll take some white super fine dubbing and do a quick dubbing noodle with that. And wrap that as the back portion of our collar here. A little bit more. Just about to get to that same density that the uh, peacock and the hackle are flaring to. And then we can come up, do just a little bit more on that. That where I want it here. There we go. And then the final piece or final material is going to be some of the Ice Dub Peacock Black just to add a bit of a shimmer right behind this mottled tungsten bead using some high tack wax, low tack wax. Swax, swax, whatever it is from the swax to help with this ice dub just to make it a little bit easier to create that dubbing noodle. And then we'll give it a whip finish. And call it good. That is a completed tungsten bead, modeled tungsten bead, cased caddis. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us tie in the future, please drop us a comment in the lines below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, be sure to subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.